Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a board, an FC board for brushed do-it-yourself FPV eraser for a small and compact one. This is the FR FR3. So it's not only a SP Racing F3 board, uh, including the last M3 ARM core for powerful computation, but it's also including a very compact FSKI D8 compatible receiver. So let's open the box. Okay, it's a small packaging like this. Here is the board. The board. So pretty, pretty light. And uh, it's very important. You have to localize two important uh, sections. First one on the top of the right is uh, the um, uh, bind uh, pads. Okay. And there is also, in emergency case, uh, the boot one, which is here exactly. Okay. So uh, this one is useful in case or you are flashing the board and there is a problem. You have to uh, jump, for example, with search tweeter these two pads and to reflash in emergency procedure. Okay. So uh, what you have in this board? You have of course this M3 arm core, uh, which is here. Okay. The pad for all the motors. So for only quadcopter, so M1, M2, uh, M3, and M4. You have some uh, UART here, some serial UART, where if you want you can uh, retrieve uh, some plus 5 volts if you need to, for example, to power a video transmitter. Of course, you can always power it directly from the uh, input pad, where you have the uh, gr ground on the left and the uh, uh, one S and it can, I don't know if it's too S compatible, probably by jumping. I will check that fact, but let's say, for instance, it's only for one S cell system. Um, on the top here, you have the CC2500 Arab ship, so it means it's clear it's associated with the Fear Sky receiver. And here you have a NAT Mega ship, so probably to control the built in uh, protocol. So uh, out of the box, I found that the telemetry uh, was not uh, delivered, okay? So maybe by flashing uh, this uh, AdMega code through so your port, we will be able to flash uh, the actual uh, receiver code to also uh, deliver uh, exporting uh, the telemetry information. You have the uh, micro USB plug here, and the total weight of this uh, board is pretty light, okay? So, 2 gram.6, okay, and uh, inside the bundle, you have also, also a small micro LOZ lead cable, so 0.1 gram more, or 3 ton, okay, and a small uh, double pad, okay, double tape, piece of foam to install on your quad. So, uh, with everything, you reach 3.5 gram, okay? So, uh, maybe you can gain a little bit of weight by reducing the length of this uh, micro or the uh, connector, but it's super light, and uh, you Definitively, you can save close to one gram, even a little more, with uh, two separate uh, flight controller board and a separated uh, nano receiver. So that's a good news with such system. You can save one gram, one gram five. It's the main objective. So uh, I will show how to bind the, uh, this uh, machine now. The, the idea is pretty simple. Use a twizer like this, okay, bent one, and you will have to gently jump by up applying the tips of the tweezer, okay, while pouring uh, this uh, flight control board through a USB cable, okay? So let's do that now. Okay, so I will gently block the FC board and with a tweezer try to apply on both pads. It's very important when you're correctly jumping both, the LEDs on the bottom here should stop to flash. So I will turn on the plug, the uh, radio receiver by plugging the USB plug to a computer. Okay. 
okay and you can see here the light is here so it's not correctly jumped so I will we again apply the and repreg to the computer okay it seems to be not so maybe more here okay so I will try I will select now in the radio model to the bind procedure press okay and now you can see the LEDs start to flash okay and so now it's bound so let's check that okay we have a flashing one we will turn on everything okay replug the flight control board okay I think you can see the lower flashing LEDs and I will turn on the radio and now as you can see I've got a solid LEDs it's bound so super easy okay so by default this flight control board come with the clean flight last version 1.13 okay so you have the default one and now I want to show how to flash more beta flights so as you may know for such kind of SPRSing Evo brushed boards um, you need to install uh, a specific uh, driver for uh, to uh, that for the DFU mode uh, required to flash uh, the new uh, operating system. Uh, there are many options to do it. And uh, first, of, I want to show you how to first to install more a generic driver. Okay, but. Uh, you can pass through Zadig, it's a way, okay, but sometimes you can have some problem with. So I will show now a different procedure and uh, let's check that. Okay, here is the uh, complete uh, instruction how to install Betaflight on this SP uh, Racing F3 Evo board, so for brushed quadcopter. And uh, first of all, you have to be sure that you download and install the STM uh, USB VCB uh, driver. So in this web pages you have to register at least to give a working email and after you will be able to download the associate driver so uh, when you uh, connect the uh, USB okay you should be able to see on the USB port that uh, you have a working ST microelectronics virtual com form working and uh, no problem so uh, either in beta flights but uh, uh, if you open uh, your application in clean flight which is uh, you can directly connect without any problem but uh, if you uh, return to a beta flight uh, of course you can connect because there is uh, the software is not yet installed uh, okay so no problem for that but if you try to uh, go to the firmware section okay and select the SP Racing F3 Evo board and we would choose the last version actually 3.0.1 and if we uh, select full chip arrays, manual board rate etc and we load locally uh, the uh, OS and we try to apply the firmware you will see here it will enter in DFU mode and on the uh, uh, device manager you can see that uh, the uh, bootloader driver is required so uh, what you will do is uh, well one option is to go to this web pages okay here and to click here to download the zip file and dot uh, sorry this tyrannis win usb dot zip okay and you will unzip it in your local favorites folder so i don't know where i uh, i download it here i will uh, extract it okay and i will have now this driver okay let's have a look inside okay inside again so uh then we if we are you are in older windows version uh you can directly manually update the driver but if you are in a more recent windows 
you have to enter into a sign uh, how to install and sign driver so for example have a look to this uh, uh, YouTube video it will show how the procedure to uh, reboot your computer uh, to be a load to install and sign driver okay be sure of it to reboot and when you reboot in set mode you will be able now to update your driver so click here click right click to uh, update your driver look find one okay and you will uh, try to localize where it's uh, installed so for me it's uh, in uh, MSI, if I can remember well, in the uh, um, download section, and yeah, I should find here yeah, Terran is here, okay, and I will try to find the uh, here to localize here, and I will click on next, and uh, since for a whole Windows you can. It said there is a warning to not install, but click yes, install whatever, okay? And it will install this uh, uh, driver. So now, no problem, there is uh, uh, the possibility. So let's redo the same things. And if I click here to flash the firmware, okay? So maybe I have to, uh, to reboot the machine, okay? And to we run the uh, clean flight configuration probably to reboot everything. So application and beta flight. So I will reinsert the connector, flash firmware, select the last okay load, download it, and now click. And now you can see it's flashing without any problem. Okay, so verify. Now, no problem, I can connect now to Betaflight and is working efficiently. Okay, I hope it helped you to flash Betaflight. Thank you, bye-bye.